The Sisters Athletic Club says its mask policy for non-vaccinated members is for everyone's protection. It's all based on safety. 100% safety of the members, safety of the staff. Uh, as simple as that. You know, we know by science what works. Vaccination works, mask work. I have to protect my members, I have to protect my staff. The owner of this athletic club, Tate Metcalf, also said he's the only gym owner in the state that's enforcing a mask policy for its unvaccinated members. Metcalf says providing proof of vaccination is a one and done situation. All they have to do is show us once. They sign the initial little piece of paper that says they're voluntarily showing that to us. And then we can make a notation on our check-in system so that they don't have to show us every time. But that has led to backlash on his business. Massive cancellations. Um, enormous amount of hate mail, um, venom, vitriol from non-members. Gary Landers, a longtime member of the athletic club, says knowing members' vaccination status has allowed him to continue working out during the pandemic. It is uh, allowed the comfort level for people of all opinions to still come to a place to work out and stay healthy. Metcalf added that besides safety, making sure he can keep adequate staff among the employee shortage was also a factor. In any business, you know, if you have one person that gets sick, that is going to affect more and the ripple effect. You know, likely we've got a very high, extremely high vaccination rate amongst our staff here. Metcalf added no visitors nor tourists are allowed to use his athletic club in order to help preserve the safe environment he's created. In Sisters, Leslie Cano, News Channel 21.